to show you how to run a notebook on Google Colab and then save it to your GitHub. So here's my notebook. First of all, I want to show you that I'm installing Kaleido and this is something that will allow you to save your images from Plotly that were interactive, but if you save them on GitHub, it's not going to work. They're just not going to show up. So first, what you need to do is you need to run this where you install Kaleido and then you have to restart the runtime. So you have to go to runtime and then here, restart runtime. Yes. Now that you've done it, you don't need to press this button again. You can start going down to the next cell. And here we are going to load the data, explore what the data looks like. And then we're going to generate a principal component analysis image. Now this is an interactive plotly uh, visualization, but down here you can see that we can use the IPython display image package where we will generate a PNG image and show it in the cell. So now this is an image that first of all you can save to your computer, but also when you save this to GitHub, it's going to come up in your notebook. So let's do this. Right here, you go to File and go to Save a Copy in GitHub. Now, here you might see different repositories that you might be a part of. And so instead, uh, you can actually um, go back to your GitHub. And you can see that I want to change this, right? Because I don't want to save it to my company. I want to save it to my private repository. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to do cancel. And then I'm going to change this to my account that I use uh, with that GitHub. So I'm going to open uh, the same one. If you don't have access, you will request access. So let me share this. I'm going to just uh, make sure that I um, share. Okay, and I'm going to go down to this image and make sure that it's here. And now I can um, save it to GitHub. And now it's connected to my repository, Ilya Brodsky Bioinformatics. This is the file path. And I can do an optional um, commit message, which I don't need to do. And now it's going to create a copy. So here is my GitHub profile. I can reload it and you can see now this is appearing in this public repository. Now you have to make sure that the repository is public and let's scroll down. Now you can see this image right here, right? So that's a nice way to make sure that all of your images are visible, including this image down here after feature selection. Now, how do I know that my repository is public? You can go back to my profile and here you can see repositories. And uh, here you will see that it is public and whether you have anything inside. So if I go to this one, you should see this file inside and that's how you know that it is available in public on your GitHub repository. That's all.